Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the group policy client service failed to log on on Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by just left click on the start button one time. Type in reg edit, so R E G E D I T. Best match to go back a red sheet editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab, select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then just save it again like I said to a convenient location on your computer or external drive and then once you're done with that if you ever need to import it back in you just would select file import so pretty straightforward process so now that we're ready to begin so the first thing you want to do is expand the HK local machine folder so either double click on it or left click or next to it to expand the drop down do the same thing now for the software folder so double click on that locate the Microsoft folder Double click on that. There should be a Windows NT folder list under here, so just scroll down a little bit. Right here, go ahead and double click on that. Should be a current version folder. Left click on that, expand it, and then finally there should be an SVC host folder list under here. Right here. So if you need to pause the video at this time and take note of the path up at the top of the screen that we went through, each backslash is a different folder we've gone under. You're more than welcome to. So now on the right side, you want to right click inside of a blank area, select new, and then you want to select multi-string value. You want to call this value GPS BC group exactly as it appears on my screen I'll put it in bigger letters as well so again GPS capitalized lowercase VC uppercase G and then lowercase R O U P now that you have that you want to go double click on it in value data type in GPS and then lowercase VC exactly as it appears on my screen go ahead and left click on OK it says that it contains empty strings. Registry editor will remove all empty strings found. Select OK. That's fine. And now you want to go right click on the SVC host folder itself. Select New. And then select the key. Call it GPS, lowercase vc, and then group. G and group should be capitalized. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Now on the right side, we're going to create two different D word values. So right click in the blank area, select new, select the word 32 bit value. First one's going to say authentication. Capabilities. Exactly as appears on my screen, so again, authentication. Capabilities. And then hit enter. Double click on that. Set the value data to 12320. So again, 12320. Select OK. So now underneath authentication capabilities, you want to right click inside of a blank area. Select New and then select D word 32 bit value. Next one you want to type in is C O L N I T I A L I Z E. Security. P A R A M. I know it's kind of hard to say out loud, so I'm just going to have it up on the screen in big letters here. So just go ahead and hit enter once you have that. And then double click on it. Set the value data to 1. Left click on OK. Now that you've done that, you can close out of the registry editor and restart your computer. And hopefully, that should have been able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.